Hello, happy Saturday, everybody. Oh my gosh, I'm all tangled up. Um, can you hear that? Somebody's jackhammering something in their house. Um, it's Saturday. What are we doing? Nothing. I've been home all day today. Um, I made some. Let me show you. Lately, I've been really into like Indian food. It's just like really good to me. Sorry, the lighting is so bad in my house. But look what I made. Mm. It probably doesn't look good, maybe. People are probably like, ew. But uh, it's chicken tikka masala. And then I just made some uh, jasmine rice. But anyways, yeah, let me show you my yard that I took a whole day off on Thursday to redo my whole yard. Not redo it, but uh, mow it and weed it up or unweed it, whatever. So this garden over here had um, just tons of this bush right here was growing into this and that bush may look pretty but it has a lot of thorns on it and that's just like a trashy table I need to throw in the trash I cleaned that thing off there was hella spiders in there um, I mowed my ugly lawn I know it's not the prettiest and I brought that that uh, set back out it had it that's what that table is but the glass broke on it so last year because the umbrella was too heavy and it tipped over and broke the glass so i'm gonna get a new table uh when i get paid i'm gonna go and get a new table for that and then i just organized that crap over there i had to like edge around the around the patio i don't know my yard's not pretty but i want it to be like nice out here so the kids can play in it i literally took a day off paid day off to um do all that in my yard uh, I'm just waiting for my mom to come over. She's going to bring my daughter back. She was at her house. It's Saturday. The day is almost over. It's already three. <laughs> well, to me, the day is almost over. We probably aren't going to do much, but if we do, of course, I'm going to vlog it. This is very embarrassing to say, but my son pees the bed a lot. And yes, he sleeps in the bed with me. I've been trying to get him to sleep on his own, but it's been really tough. He's four. So if any of you out there have a four-year-old that likes to sleep with them, I feel like um, ever since his dad's been locked up, he's been wanting to sleep with me. So I don't know if it's like a just... I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I've talked to his doctor about it and she was just su suggesting ways I could get him to sleep on his own. But, um, yeah, I, I guess I just need to be more firm about it. Um, so yeah. And then also I'm kind of sad that his dad's not here. So in a way it comforts me to have him in the bed too, but I also don't want him to sleep with me either or forever um because I've never really slept with in the bed with any of my kids and some people just do just do like they sleep in the bed with their kids till they're like old I remember sleeping in the bed with my mom for a while my skin looks so te textured today 
getting old. But um, yeah, so what I was saying is that he pees and I had to buy this like um, Hoover thing. Let me show you. This is how bored I am. How bored I am today. Oh, it's not Hoover, it's Bissell. So it's like a Bissell um, thing and it like cleans and then sucks the water out. And it comes with like a cleaning thing. So I think I got that for like $50 on Amazon. And it's a really good investment. <laughs> Especially if you, not only if you have like kids, but if you have pets that, um, pets that pee in the carpet or on any upholstery that will clean it off. So anyways, how do you guys like my makeup today? I use the Jaclyn Hill palette, of course. Um, I honestly, I'm not a big fan of like blue and green eyeshadow. No offense, but to anyone or anything, it's just, I feel like it's like too young for me. It's kind of like a juvenile look, but I don't know. I just felt like doing something different today because basically Saturday and Sunday is the only way, only days I like wear full ma makeup. What? There's no eating people. Really? Oh. He's addicted to gaming. <gasps> I think this is why they say take her swimming on the first date. This is, this is me, the natural me. I took a, um, sleeping aid last night because I have a really hard time sleeping. Um, I've had a hard time sleeping since... My boyfriend's been gone. Um, but, yeah, I just get really paranoid at night. I will lock the doors. I'll get up in the middle of the night, check the doors, check the kids. I don't know. I just feel vulnerable, I guess. I mean, not like probably anything would ever happen, but I just, I don't sleep very well. So, Usually I just kind of let it be and don't do anything about it. But last night I was like so tired and I just wanted to sleep but I knew my mind wouldn't shut off. So I took a sleeping aid. And that was the worst decision I ever made. Because I took it at like 10. And then I fell asleep around 11. And I woke up at like 7 and I had a huge headache. I went and showered. Because for some reason when I, when I have headaches or I don't feel good, water just makes me feel better. So just being in the water and stuff. So I'll just usually sit in the shower and let it run on me. So I took a shower, came back into bed, and slept until like, I want to say 11. It's almost like 1 right now. And this is rare for me to be, <laughs> be up so late. It's a Sunday. And it's not like we have anything planned, but I like to be up and like, taking care of things around the house so I don't have to do it during the week I got my coffee it's really not that great Ugh. um yeah so let me just let me try and uh, get myself together much better I opted not to do my hair today this is my natural hair I just brushed it out it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's kind of... My hair is frizzy no matter what. Like, if I curl it or not, it just... See that? It gets a little little frizzy, but whatever. I don't feel like... I just did my whole makeup. I don't feel like doing my hair. So, yeah. I gotta go make my kids a snack. A snack. So, we do have a visit tonight at 6 at the facility. We've been doing a lot of our visits, like, on the... What do you call it? Um, like the home Skype visits, Skype type of visits, and I like those better because I can show him around the house and stuff, and show him the yard and things that I've been working on. And it's just it feels more intimate than having to go to the. Um, I'm looking over here and it's right there, having to go to the gel and uh, sit on their little screens and they're like really bad quality. And yeah, so, but we do have our the only free ones are at the facility, so. I do, and that's once a week, so I do go there once a week for that. Usually on Sundays is our facility visits. We talked last night. It was good. Um, no, we just miss each other. He misses the kids a lot. 
and the kids get to talk to him and stuff, so that's good. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, I just try, I mean, it's, it's easier for me, because I think it's because, like, I have things to occupy my, my mind and time, so, you know, I can play with the kids or do yard work or whatever. So yeah, if I just want to say, you know, like if you're a single mother or, you know, you're a mom out here doing it on your own, um, more power to you because it's, it's tough. I think for any single parent, I don't want to just say only mothers, but you know, I am a woman, so, but, um, yeah, it's just, it's really up to us to be be that strong person that um, keeps everybody together, keeps the kids, you know, happy, never see them, never let them see sweat type of thing. And uh, yeah, I think that's what makes women strong is because we, we, most of the time, can really deal with a lot of shit at one time. And, you know, we're good at it. We're good at keeping it together for everybody that's what moms and women and everything do so yeah if you're out there and you're watching and you're feeling alone you're not because it's tough and uh you got to remember you know that's what empowers me it's, you know i feel stronger having to do this on my own it's sad and it sucks and i have really bad really really bad days where i don't even want to do it you know like i can get pretty low but then at the same time it's the same thing that reminds me of how strong i really am and how there's other women out there who can do it so why can't i like i don't know it's just really empowering it's really empowering to have to be forced into a situation where you have to be everything for everybody and you just got to think of it more of that way rather than like poor me and that's what I've been continuing to try to do. You don't give me time to explain shit. You just automatically think I'm accusing you and attacking you. You would know if you would let me. You would know if you would be quiet and let me explain. I'm sorry, yeah, but that's true. You would just sh stop for a minute and stop, cut me off, and not get offensive and let me explain to you. You would know. Oh my gosh! See, this is why I hate coming to the gel because I swear you can hear everybody's conversations and like. Okay, this is not working. This is a horrible angle. Yeah, that's why I freaking hate going to the facility because you can hear everybody's conversations and problems. And I don't like talking about like personal stuff in front of other people either for them to hear. As you could see that guy, or as, as you could hear, that guy was like fighting with his girlfriend or something. Ew, this is dirty. Anyway, um, enjoy the double chin view. Uh, no, but I'm gonna go home now, put some gas in my car and go home and call it a night. I gotta still make dinner and, whew, I gotta still make dinner and get the kids in bed and stuff and so I'm just gonna end the vlog here. There's not more much, there's not much more left to my night so thanks for watching. <sighs> Freaking dirty man. Thanks for watching and <laughs> my hair. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.